My World War I technology is the observation balloon. It is uncertain who the original inventor of the machine was. However, a very early inventor, Pilatre de Rosier, created his version in 1783. Through time, the balloon has been improved, and in 1914, another version was uncovered by a French engineer named Albert Coquel. The French were the first to use observation balloons in war. It was the first machine used in air warfare. In an early battle taking place in 1794, the technology was utilized by the French against Austria. In the American Civil War, observation balloons were mainly used for map making because of their aerial advantage. Many changes were made to the observation balloon throughout history, but it has been used for the same purpose, reconnaissance. Observation balloons were primarily used by the Germans during the Great War. The balloons were filled with hydrogen gas and could easily be brought down. They were occupied by one to two observers located in the wicker basket and sometimes linked to the ground by a wire used for communication. These men had at least a 15-mile panorama of the field from the sky. The machines were made to remain behind the front lines and observe the enemy's position from a safe distance. However, it turned out to be much less safe than they had originally thought because the adversaries could shoot and puncture the balloon, causing it to go down in flames. World War I did an excellent job of depicting the evils of the Industrial Revolution. The observation balloon was an unsuccessful piece of warfare technology. It was an enormous waste of money, and the balloons proved to be highly flammable, which only caused further injuries. This technology led to the invention of the Zeppelin in 1900. Today, the United States uses observation balloons at the Mexican border and provides surveillance near bases in the Middle East. So even though the observation balloon was a waste of money, it led to many new discoveries and is still used today.